All right, guys, some drama, because that's what you came here for. Um, Block TV, trying to hit it hard, being a voice in this space. Uh, had an opportunity to have an interview with one of the most famous uh, uh, predictors of cryptocurrency. His name is Tone Vase. You should see his video really quickly here in the picture somehow. Uh, it says here, uh, uh, they're quoting Tone Vase saying, once we break $20,000, we can go to 50, we can go to 100. That's amazing. Isn't he the smartest guy in the room? That guy right there. I can't believe how smart that guy is. So he says we're going to a way above if we go above 20K. And, and so I said, uh, something and a little drama creek ensued. I said, if this guy's track record calling BTC price, are we are going to sub 2K? And I, I meant to say, I, I'm, I can't believe you responded to such a shithead as me. And then I said, BTC will not be number one by then too. But that's not what triggered him, is me calling him out on his track record. And then he, 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 he uh, saves himself by saying, you are right, saying sub 2K when the price is over $15,000 back in January of 2018 was so far off the mark. You realize we fell to 3K, right? You or you just get here. He made a bunch of different calls. Anyways, uh, why, gamma males, why gamma males like you get wrecked? Because I'm a gamma male, Tone. And so as a gamma male, I said, as wrecked as those who follow your calls, <laughs> a gamma males, I'm not paying hookers and looking to hang with YouTubers with high subs. I'm in the pit, motherfucker. I'm participating in the immutable transparency. That's what you motherfuckers came here for this shit right there. Participation in the immutable transparency. And I said, you ain't got the guts to get real, son. You're just a master's tool, clearly. Meaning, you know, he's working for all the fucking Bitmain and all that stuff. So that was a little bit of drama. I actually got a celebrity to pay attention to me. How is that? Pretty happy about that. Probably going to get this video taken down because I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. Anyways, here, we're going to talk about some even bigger drama. This guy. So today on the Telegram, I was hanging out over there asking questions about... Uh, why token air isn't treating me as well as uh, uh, Pyrobank? And I even had more in Pyrobank. I mean, more in token air than I had in Pyrobank. And, and uh, I was thinking about that. And I was thinking about, wow, you know, there were some ambassadors and people that got in early when the price spiked and sold and all those tokens. And all those tokens left the contract, right? So I was, you know, I figured I'd ask a question. I asked, I, asked, I asked a question on the Discord. And this guy got back to me. But my question was, I said, how come the ambassadors aren't asked or being forced to put back tokens into the contract, much like they were initially to start the contract. And uh, this guy right here, this guy, he told me, he told me I need to shut up and uh, go make a video. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a video about uh, Trevon and how the small group at the top, or when they, I won't even say necessarily at the top, there's a small group of people in the contract over at Token Air that did really, really well. And I'm wondering, is it fair to even ask the question of whether or not these individuals should be forced to uh, create a better uh, participation considering, you know, what's happening there? And, and, you know, they benefited tremendously off of many. A very few amount of people did. And when I ask that question, it is something that gets you banned. I mean, I don't even know if I got that lighthearted in P3. I mean, if anything, as lighthearted got me uh, banned in P3D. So I'm making a video because Trev told me to do that, and I'm a good, I'm a good guy, so I'm going to do what I'm told. And uh, bring up the fact that, again, one of the things I'm in this space for is because typically in the world there's a very small group of, of people that benefit off of a large group of people, and typically war is the worst case scenario of that. And asking about that question, well, this guy, this guy right here, he doesn't want to be asked about that question. Um, and he, won't, he will control that message. And why I bring this up is because it's very similar to this guy here. This guy here does a lot of things insofar as what I'm concerned when it comes to the regard of the term what law means he fucking benefits off of a way larger group and he is a criminal in his actions and how he makes sure that the very small group aren't held to account for the suffering of a very large group and uh, you know that's pretty much the essence of my channel here this fucking criminal here he's a really smart guy and in no way shape or form am I doubting the intelligence of this guy right here I mean look at that face how could you ever doubt the intelligence of that guy? Especially considering the actions you understand that have recently happened or that have happened. This guy is a really smart guy too. And I am a stupid motherfucker who's probably going to get banned because of one of these kind of guys. Welcome to the real world, motherfuckers.